Okay, Ruby, you ready? Let's record our kid class. Here we go. Let's inhale the arms up, butterfly up, butterfly down, and look up, and let's come to a downward facing dog, pedaling both legs out. And then let's come forward into a plane, back to a down dog, forward into a plane, and back into a downward dog. And then bending our right knees, let's walk our feet to our hands, hanging in a ragdoll pose, rocking from side to side. Yeah. And letting our arms hang loose. We'll inhale our arms all the way up. And then let's take some elephant breaths. So we'll put our feet a little bit wider, bring our trunks up, we'll interlace our hands. Keeping your pointer finger up, interlacing those hands. <laughs> there we go. And we'll inhale, bring the elephant up, and exhale. Inhale. 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 And then inhale back up, heel toe our feet back together, and butterfly down. And then coming back to our downward facing dog. <laughs> Let's bring one leg up to the collar and bring the other leg up. Bringing both legs down and then coming into a table top position. So keeping a nice flat back here. So I'm going to put my shoe on my back and it shouldn't fall over. So here's my shoe on my back. It shouldn't fall over. Oh, it smells. Now let's inhale, look up. Exhale, round the spine. Inhale, look up. And exhale, round. And now I'm going to take the shoe off because it's hard to round the spine with it. I know my back's nice and neutral. And we'll inhale as we say, move for cow. Exhale, meow. Inhale, move, and exhale, meow, and then coming back to a tabletop. Let's try to work some of our balance. So we're going to take our one arm forward and the opposite leg comes back. Remembering to breathe, so your knee will come down, your elbow will come down. And then bringing that side down, both knees on the mat. And then bringing the other arm forward, the other leg back. Balancing here. And then back down. Let's bring our knees wide and come back to a child pose. Try to walk those hands all the way to the top of the mat and rest your forehead on the mat. And then come back to a table hook Now let's warm up those bodies and some sun salutations. Come back to your downward dog. And hop your legs forward. And then inhale as we butterfly up. And exhale, bring our hands to heart center. And then we'll inhale, butterfly the arms up. And exhale, butterfly down. Inhale, halfway lift up. Exhale, walking back to a downward facing dog. Inhale, forward into a plank pose. Exhale, knees come down, chest and chin. Inhale, to a baby cobra. And exhaling back to a downward facing dog. And then bend your knees on the inhale. On an exhale, walking or jumping your feet to your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, forward fold. And why can't we see Then we'll friends? inhale, bring them all the way up. Because we're, we're recording it. Inhale, look up. And exhale, folding forward. Inhale, halfway lift. 
exhale, coming back to a downward facing dog. And then we're gonna just take some donkey kicks here. So we're gonna inhale, come up, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down. So just kicking up guys, just having fun. Do five of them, so that's three. Ready? Four, one more, five. I can do it. And coming back to a downward facing dog. And walking your feet to your hands. Again, getting opposite elbows, swaying back and forth. I can't see my face. Releasing the arms, coming all the way up. Why can't I see my face? And then we're going to come into a chair pose. Can you do chair? So we're gonna start off a little bit high. We're gonna play kind of the elevator game. So we start off here, then ding, we get a little bit lower. Ding, a little bit lower. We're gonna keep lowering down. Ding, we're on level three. Ding, level four. Ding, level five. Ding, level six. And ding, level seven. And we rock back and forth. Back and forth. Back and forth. And then we rock up. We rock up. And then come back into a rag ball. And then the palms come down again. We come all the way up. And we bring our hands to our heart center. Now we're going to come into a second breathing exercise. We're gonna come down to our knees, into a kneeling pose, and we're gonna come into a lion breath. So we're gonna inhale, exhale. And then we're gonna bring our palms back down, coming back to our tabletop. So grab that shoe if you don't know if you're having a flat back. And then we're going to tuck our toes under. The shoe's going to fall off our backs and come back to our downward facing dog, pedaling out our legs. So that's great. And then we're going to come into an inhale as we come forward into a plank. And exhale, knees, chest, chin down to the mat. Inhale, the baby cobra. And exhaling back to a downward facing dog. No over here and I'll bring the wood And then we're gonna hop forward, coming into a squat pose. So hands come to heart center. And we're gonna pretend we're monkeys. We're gonna come into a monkey pose. It's on my uh, And then coming back, hands to heart center. And then for those of you who are a little bit older and want the challenging, we can plant our palms in front of us, coming into what we call a crow pose. So knees are gonna come to the upper triceps. Then maybe bring one leg up, then the other. <laughs> being careful. And then we're gonna slowly come back into a seat. Feet are gonna come together. We're gonna make a butterfly. We're gonna inhale as we gaze up at the ceiling or the sky. And exhale, folding over. I want to so And then slowly coming up. And we're gonna come back into our forward and back. Back into our rolls. Rolling for one, and for two, and for three, and then for four. Rolling all the way back up, coming into a forward fold. And then we're gonna come down again. We're gonna come to a crab position. So it's kind of a reverse table or a crab. And we're gonna take three steps backward. So one, two, 
three, then we have to come the other way. So we're only on our mats. We're taking three steps forward. So this doesn't take a lot of warm room. And then we're gonna take three steps back again. One, two, three, and then three steps forward. One, two, three, and then one step back. One, and then one step forward. One, and then one step back. One, then two steps forward. One, two, and two steps back. One, two, and then coming all the way down. Again, bringing your feet together like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. So here's the peanut butter, here's the jelly, here's the sandwich, knees apart, forward fold. And they smell so stinky. And then coming back up, hugging your knees into your chest and rocking forward and back. Forward and back. And then we're going to come all the way up. Okay, so do your four rocks. And we'll get back in a forward fold. One more rock. One more rock. And back in a forward fold. And then we'll bring the arms all the way up overhead and bringing hands to heart center. Now we're gonna come into some of our balancing poses. So I'll we'll first come into a tree pose. So you can either bring your right foot to the inside of the left shin or inside of the left thigh. You can always hold on to a nearby table or a parent. And taking some breaths here. I just have to get steady at first. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. If we fall out of it, we come back into it. <laughs> and then slowly releasing that leg and shaking it out. Shake, 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 shake. And then we'll come to the other side. So taking the other leg. I get crazy now. Taking your other leg. There you go. Oh. And breathing here. Mm -hmm. And then releasing and shaking it out. <laughs> And then let's come into another pose. We're gonna come into a warrior three. So we're gonna bring our hands to our heart center and we're gonna take a leg back behind us. Again, maybe you wanna try to put a shoe on your back. Why do I do that? To just see how flat your back is. Playing around with putting the shoe on your back. Good job. And then taking that leg down. And then we'll take it to the other side. Hands to heart center, the leg comes back. And maybe putting the shoe on your back. Hands to heart center. And then shaking it out. Shake, shake, shake. And now we're gonna come into our triangle poses. So one leg's forward, one leg's back. So that foot's gonna be facing out. And we're gonna bring our arms wide apart, tilting our hips back as we slowly tilt forward. And gaze up at that fingertip. It's a little hot for the king's cake. And then bringing yourself up. We'll switch sides. We're just going to turn this foot out. 
the other foot's gonna come out, that foot in, tilting our hips back, and slowly coming into our triangle. Hi, everyone. <laughs> and then coming back up. Now we're going to come into our wide legged fold. So you're going to come back to back with me, Ruby. Back to back with you. So turn around. Feet wide apart. Hey. And then we're going to come into a forward fold. You're going to grab my hands. Yay. Yay. Holding here. And then slowly we're going to come up. And then we're going to take our warrior poses. The one and the two. So we're going to bring one foot out, the other foot in, bending that front knee, bringing those arms up into a warrior one. And straightening the leg. Jumping your feet together and taking the other leg forward. Not much. Taking the other leg forward, coming into warrior one. And coming out of it. Jump feet together. And then jump apart into a star pose. And jumping them together into a pencil. And jumping out into a star. I'm not a pencil, or a star. <laughs> yes, you are. Jumping into a pencil. Jumping out into a star. And then we're going to bring our feet out, our heels in. We're going to bend our knees and our arms. Coming into our goddess pose. Mommy, I'm looking at my pants. 